So if I do this, you see how it's like covering the top of me right here? If I do this, here, let me get a good, it's not a good one. Okay, if I do this, that's not covering that angle at all. So if someone's coming down from a side platform, they're just gonna kick you in the face. Explain the high lasers, please. Oh, it catches him jumping, and it also stops him from uh, power shielding the laser. So it's like controlling him to stay on the ground. Also, it catches up smash and up tilt because of the height that it goes. So, yeah, unless he's directly on top of me, he can't like do a zoning like a like an up smash play. High laser was throwing me off. Yeah, I think it's really good. You started running shy me at the very end, but I think I can like counter adapt to that. I think it's in my um, op uh, in best interest to have you start approaching like that. Um, one thing that I want to clarify about the laser that I think you guys are gonna think is um, really cool. Um, so most lasers only cover the horizontal space. Um, you have to think about travel time in terms of frames, okay, and how long. Um, the laser covers that space. So um, if this laser connects with him, that's the only series of time that that laser is out, right? It, it connects on the tip of this laser. It could essentially not be this large at all. It could just be like this big. It could be that big, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna connect with him regardless. So here's the thing. This laser is still covering him. It still serves all of its purpose for that entire travel time. So this is like like probably eight to 10 frames where this laser is just straight up above him. So this laser is serving its purpose and it's a very, very long lingering hitbox. Trey calls those barrier lasers, I like that. Um, if people are coming down from the side platforms or the top platform, it's more beneficial to shoot the high lasers because of the angle in which it covers for you. Um, let me try and show this. So if I do this, you see how it's like covering the top of me right here? If I do this, that's not covering that angle at all. So if someone's coming down from a side platform, they're just gonna kick you in the face. Yeah, exactly what Dandy's saying. They beat people falling too. Exactly. So high lasers are really, really good. Your game knowledge is absolutely nuts. Thank you. But I think it's been um, increasingly more important against Kalindi who's doing things like the shine, the, the, the like, take lasers. Um, Okay, one thing I'll also go over about the, the high laser since I'm kind of explaining it. Um, so most people, if they're taking laser, check this out. So what a lot of foxes will do, let's say they're up in your space, right? Let's say we're right here in a scramble situation. He backs off and lasers, I also dash back. So I get hit by the laser while I'm in this animation. Ignore him forward smashing. I get hit by his laser as I'm dashing back, right? So what most people will do is they dash back, they see the laser coming, they react because of the travel time. You have to think about it again. If I'm dashing backwards, I'm creating more frames until the laser connects with me, right? Time equals frames equals reactions, right? So uh, I can react to the laser coming to me. And so I get hit by the lasers 12 frames later, then I press, uh, then I press dash back again, or I press my action, right? So here's what happens if they don't get hit by the laser. They dash and then they go, uh, they dash and they press it twice. And then they just start running. This happens. I'm pressing forward twice here. Or if they try to up tilt, nothing happens. They dash back and then try to up tilt and they're in the middle of their dash or run. So if they're trying to react to it happening and then doing something out of it, but the laser doesn't actually connect with them because it actually shoots above their head. I can show you a laser shooting above his head with Fox. Oh God. If it goes above his head, it's not actually gonna hit him. So he's gonna do things at the wrong time. And instead of dash back, dash back, or dash back and then take laser turn around up tilt, he's gonna dash back and then, uh, and then fall or dash back and not do the turnaround up tilt. Cause he can't, he'll be running. So it really hinders Fox in a lot of ways. But you're completely vulnerable the whole time if he just runs up and up smashes you or running shines you, which is very scary.